Hello, dear students. How are you today? I am your English teacher, Jaina Gulshay Nazarovna, and today we will continue learning English. Today our topic is ecology. Before we start our lesson, think about these questions. What is ecology? What does it study? And what global ecological problems do you know? Listen to the dialogue, please, and compare your answers. Now, let's read this dialogue together. Do you know what the word ecology means? Ecology is everything around us. Animals, trees, flowers, water and air. Right, the word ecology comes from Greek words. Otkos means home and logos means a study or science. I know, ecology means the study of our home. Yes, you are right. Our planet is our home. Trees, animals, birds, fish, flowers and neighbors. Ecology studies the relationship between all living things on our planet. It also studies how they interact with climate, water and soil, which are very important for life. The life of our planet appeared many billion years ago, but people started living on the planet only about 2 million years ago. Do you think that our planet is always happy to live with people? Do you think that people always take care of our planet? No! There are some people who don't like the nature, they don't understand what our nature wants to say and don't care about it. Nowadays our planet is in danger of serious ecological catastrophe. Do you know what ecological catastrophe means? If there is an ecological catastrophe, the life on the planet will disappear. We must love our planet and save it. What ecological problems do you know? For example, air pollution. What is ecology? It study about home. It comes from Greek words oikos and logos. Very good. And what does it usually study? Trees, animals, birds, fish, flowers and other things. Very good. Let's continue. Now your task is to watch a video to understand better what is ecology and ecosystem. Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video! Today we are going to learn about the ecosystems. But do you know what an ecosystem is? An ecosystem is a community of living things in a given area. For example, this river is an ecosystem and is made up of water, the riverbed, the riverbanks and all the living creatures which live in it, such as this frog, these lily pads, or this shy duck which hides as soon as he sees us. An ecosystem can be very small, such as this puddle, or very big, such as this enormous desert. We have listened to the conversation in a classroom. They have talked about ecology, and Tom has mentioned one ecological problem. It was air pollution. Now, I want to ask you a question. What other ecological problems do you know? To be able to talk about this topic, we need to learn some words. So please, open your notebooks and prepare your pens. The first word for today is air pollution. Repeat after me, please. Air pollution. Air pollution. In the second word, the stress is on the second syllable. Pollution. Next word. Look at the picture, please. Water pollution. Repeat after me, please. Water pollution. Water pollution. Next word. Picture number three. What can you see on the picture? Littering. Repeat after me, please. Littering. Littering. The stress is on the first syllable. Next picture. Look at the trees, please. They were cut. Destruction of forests. Destruction of forests. Listen to the first word, please. Destruction. Destruction. The stress is on the second syllable. 
destruction of forests. Good job. Look at the next picture, please. Destroying wildlife. Destroying wildlife. And the last word for today is radioactive pollution. Radioactive pollution. Radioactive pollution. Now your task is to match the pictures with the new words. Are you ready to check your answers? Let's do the first one together. Look at the picture number one. What is it? It is air pollution. Now please try to match other pictures with the words yourselves. Let's check your answers. Number two. It is water pollution. Number three, littering. Number four, destruction of forests. Number five, destroying wildlife. And number six, radioactive pollution. Check your answers, please, and correct your mistakes if you have them. Do you know that in English we can form new words adding some suffixes? So, for example, we can make a noun from a verb by adding only shin ending. Look at this verb, please. Pollute. It becomes pollution. Look at the next verb, please. Destroy. What do you think? What is a noun form for this verb? It is destruction. Next one. Solve. Solution. Produce. Production. And the last one. Construct. Construction. Please write these words in your notebooks. Now your task is to complete the sentences with a verb or a noun from the table. The first one is done for you. There are a lot of factories that pollute the air with black smoke. The missing word is pollute. Now please try to do the other sentences yourselves. Let's check your answers together. Number two, water pollution can kill animals and people. Why do we use a noun here? Because we have the modal verb can and the verb kill. Number three, people produce paper from wood. 
Again, people is subject and we need a verb, produce. This leads to the destruction of forests. Nice. Number four, we must try to find a solution to ecological problems. So we have subject, we have verb, and now we need a noun, solution. Number five, people destroy wildlife, and that's why a lot of animals become extinct. People, subject plus verb, destroy. Number six, the construction of the new railroads can be dangerous for the wild animals. Check your answers, please, and correct your mistakes. Now, please, think about these questions. Why can these problems be dangerous to the environment? What can people do to solve these problems? What can people do to solve these problems? I'm going to show you some pictures. Your task is to think about possible solutions for these problems. Later on, I will tell the possible answers. Let's go. For example, people must save water. Don't forget to turn off the water when you leave home. Or when you see running water, turn it off. Think about other pictures, please. Number two, when you see the lights on, turn them off. Number three, plant trees. Number four, collect litter or put the rubbish in the rubbish bin. Number five, avoid using plastic. Number six, don't pollute the air. Number seven. Don't destroy the nature. Number eight. Turn off the water when you brush your teeth. You can have some other answers too. To help our environment, we can also remember three R rules. They are reduce, reuse and recycle. Let's read more about them. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Three great ways you can use to protect your environment. The environment is everything around you. The air, water, land, plants and man-made things. You know that you need a healthy environment for your own health and happiness. People make a lot of waste that can do a lot of harm to the environment and your health. What exactly is waste? Waste is everything we throw away and don't use anymore. How can you help? You can help by learning about and practicing the three R waste control. They are reduce, reuse and recycle. So what does reduce mean? It means making something smaller or use less of something and not waste it. Reuse, using something again and again. And recycle, using materials from old items to make something new. Please remember these rules and help our nature. Now we are going to watch the video. Your task is to answer the questions. What planet do we live on? What are the magic words? 
How can we reduce the amount of plastic? What can we recycle? What can we reuse? Hello, I am the Earth. Yep, the very planet you live on. They are three words which start with the letter R, which I love. They are reduce, reuse and recycle. Do you know why I love them so much? Because they are almost magical words. They can make all living things, as well as myself, be happier. I said that they are almost magical, because without your help, it won't work. They need all of you children in order to do the trick. Each and every one of you are the real three R's magicians, those three words which can change the world. Do you want to know how? Yes? Well, let's find out. The first R is for reduce. If you think about it, there are many things you don't need. When you go to the supermarket, I'm sure you can take your own canvas bags instead of using disposable ones given to you. Like that, you will be reducing the amount of plastic, which is very contaminating. And I'm sure that you don't need to print out so many documents or photos, nor leave lights, television or computers on when you're not using them. If you remember this, you'll be reducing the amount of paper being used as well as energy and in turn will be helping to reduce the contamination. And these are just a few examples. I am sure you can think of many more different ways to reduce what you are using or creating unnecessary waste. The following question will help you with this task. Do I really need this or is this just a whim? The second R is for recycling. Now, it is easier than ever to recycle things we don't need anymore so that they can be reused. Near your home, you can find places like the recycling station and containers for cans, plastic, paper or organic waste. They each have specific colors to make it easier to identify. By using them, you will avoid contaminating nature the rivers and seas, as well as the atmosphere, which is the air we breathe. And finally, we have the third R, which refers to reuse. How many things do you think we can reuse again and again instead of throwing them away? Let's see. A piece of paper that has only one side printed on, a carton box, a plastic bottle, you think now, with just a little bit of imagination, I'm sure you can come up with many more exciting and fun new uses for them. And remember, if you apply the three R's rule, you will make me a much cleaner planet, with less contamination and where we can all enjoy a better life. Because, as you know, children can make the world of difference. Did you like the video? Can you find the answers to the questions? Let's check your answers. Number one. What planet do we live on? We live on the Earth. Number two. What are the magic words? Reuse, recycle, reduce. Number three. How can we reduce the amount of plastic? Take bags to the supermarket. Number four. What can we recycle? We can recycle containers, cans, plastic and paper. Number five. What can we reuse? We can reuse a piece of paper, a box, a plastic bottle. Good job, guys. Let's continue. Let's learn this poem together. Please reduce, recycle, reuse. You can help the earth with your choice. Please reduce, recycle, reuse. You can help the earth if you choose. Recycle plastic, glass and cans. Reduce the rubbish on your lens. Learn this poem by heart, please. This is the end of our lesson. Today, we have talked about ecology and ecological problems. 
Now, I hope you can help our environment and try to make it better. I wish you good luck. See you on our next lessons. Goodbye.